Into the Electric Castle, also known as Into the Electric Castle, a space opera is the third album of the progressive metal project Arion by Dutch songwriter, producer, singer, and multi-instrumentalist Arjen Anthony Lucassen, released in 1998. Being a concept album as is every Arion album, it tells a science fiction story with exaggerated, flamboyant characters influenced by B-grade science fiction movies. There are eight main characters, each one sung, played by a different vocalist, as is standard in every Arion album from different times and locations. They find themselves in a strange place, guided by a mysterious voice which tells them that they must reach the Electric Castle if they want to survive. Into the Electric Castle is also the first collaboration between Lucassen and Ed Warby, who has since become Lucassen's most regular collaborator. He played drums on every following Arion album except Universal My Greater Part 1, The Dream Sequencer, and In Star One. The album was a commercial success and received overwhelmingly positive reviews from music critics. Five songs from Into the Electric Castle were included in Star One's live album Live on Earth and two in Stream of Passion album Live in the Real World. Topic. Background After the previous Arion album, Actual Fantasy, sold below expectations, Ayan sought to deliver a top-quality recording with Into the Electric Castle. If the album had not been a success, Lucassen said he would have no longer continued the Arion project. It also remains his highest selling album to date, with The Human Equation being a close second. Topic. Plot The story begins with a strange voice Peter Daltrey calling out to the eight characters that are taken from various planes of time. The mysterious voice tells them they are in a place of no time and no space. Urging them to continue, the voice gives them a task, to reach the electric castle and find out what's inside. After various steps, they come to the decision tree where the voice tells them one of them must die. They must then go through the Tunnel of Light, but the Highlander fish refuses to reach the light, stays behind, accepts his death slowly, and lays himself down to die while the others continue. Then in the Garden of Emotions, the Egyptian Annika van Geersbergen, overwhelmed by her emotions, becomes convinced that Amon Ra is coming to seal her fate. She loses her will to continue and wanders alone until she lays herself down and dies as well. The surviving characters finally reach the electric castle, penetrating the castle hall. On the Tower of Hope a breeze draws the attention of the Indian Sharon Den Adele, luring her away towards the sun despite the warning of the knight Damian Wilson and the futureman Edward Rikers. On the breeze, she encounters death itself George Osthook and Robert Westerholt, who takes her while she screams. The characters then come to their final test, the voice tells them that beyond them stands two gates, with one of them leading to oblivion and the second to the desired time of the heroes. One of the gates is old, deteriorated, and ugly, and the other made of gold and appears at first glance to be paradise. The barbarian, J. Van Fegelen, in his arrogance and pride, walks through the golden gate in spite of his companion's choice, and falls into oblivion forever. Finally, the knight, the Roman, Edwin Ballow, the hippie, Arjen Anthony Lucassen, and the futureman, who had chosen the right gate, discover the true nature of the voice, it is called, Forever of the Stars, and claims that its kind is an alien race who lost all emotions. It also claims its kind caused the emergence of humanity on Earth, and that the eight heroes were in an experiment in understanding and or rediscovering emotions. Feeling tired, the voice tells them to go on ahead and open the door, and that they won't remember what has happened. Back in their real time, the heroes all wonder what had happened, with the hippie asking himself if this journey was the result of his drug abuse, the futureman wondering if his memory has been erased, the Roman feeling stronger and the knight thinking he found the grail in a magic dream. The voice of the forever of the stars is then heard, asking them all to remember forever. Topic. Reception 
Into the Electric Castle received overwhelmingly positive reviews from critics, who praised Lucassen's writing and composition abilities and the performances of the singers. Sputnik Music reviewer stated, If you're a fan of progressive metal, or even progressive music in general, your collection will not be complete without Into the Electric Castle. All music reviewer Robert Taylor praised the album, saying that the massive coordination of such a large project is admirable, but to pull it off with such impressive results is stunning. <laughs> Topic. Track listing All tracks written by Arjen Anthony Lucassen, with singers Peter Daltrey, J. Van Fegelen, Fish, and Annika van Giersbergen writing some lyrics for their respective characters. Topic: Personnel. Topic: References and footnotes. <laughs> <laughs>